You did it? I like it. Hey guys. So we are gonna go to Play-Doh's closet. I don't know if my mom started a vlog or anything. We're going to Play-Doh's, which is just like kind of like a thrift store, thrift store, but like kind of like more expensive. But it's like donated clothes, so it's like all used and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna go there. Last time I went, I didn't find anything, so my hopes are not up. But I slept at Maddie's house last night because my mom didn't feel like going and picking me up, and I feel so disgusting now because I don't like sleeping at people's houses anymore. I don't know, I wake up and I feel nasty and then I didn't leave until 2 so like I was just in my like, I just felt greasy and gross. So I didn't shower but I kind of, I washed my face, brushed my teeth and I kind of got myself ready. I'm just wearing a Free People tube top, this zip up from H&M and these shorts that are like the long and then my Burks. I have my hair in a little clip. I put sunscreen in the, the bronzy on, like the little bronze thing because my skin is breaking out. Because I've been eating, like, excessively bad. Like, it's really, really, really bad. But the thing is, I'm about to get my period. So I'm breaking out, and then I'm also eating, like, crazy. Like, when I'm not even hungry, like, I can eat a whole meal. And then, like, two minutes later, I'm going to... Like, I haven't even been eating... I haven't been eating, like, huge meals either. Like, I haven't... I've just been eating a bunch of snacks. So it's just kind of annoying. Yeah, but I'm about to get my period. I don't know when. It should be probably, like, sometime this week. But I've also been skipping practice because I'm, like, sick at the moment. So just all around, no bueno because I've got no practice in. Been eating like crazy. I'm sick. I'm going to get my period, and I have a meet in, like, two, three weeks, which is just lovely. Um, I might drive to Plato's. I might see if I can do that. Can I drive to Plato's? Huh? Can I drive? Can I drive to Plato's? Uriel was already supposed to be here right now. But his game got delayed. So, yay. Now he's not here. And tomorrow's Monday, so it means we have school. I think I have a little bit of homework, not much. It's hot outside. I'm waiting for the nice, cool weather. And it's just not here. Not yet, at least. But you chilling at night. At night, but I mean, I don't go out at night, so. Hi, guys. Oh my god, this hair. I did my hair with a hairbrush that Micha brought me yesterday just to try to see if I like it to buy one for myself, but I'm not 100% sure. It, Dyson? No, it's um, cheap. Well, but the point is that I prefer my Revlon. So, mm -mm. I don't like, I look like an old lady with this hair like this. Flojo, vas a salir completo de ahora? Nope. We will see you later, guys. Here we go, Plato's closet. Let's see, we have good luck today. I'm gonna find clothes for the gym, maybe dresses. I don't know what is Allison looking for, so we will show you the whole. Hello guys, so we spent like an hour in there. Yeah, it was so hot. Yeah, that Play-Doh is just so hot in there. They have like no air conditioning, I swear. This lighting is really bad, but we're gonna drive home and hopefully the lighting gets a little better. Okay, so basically Play-Doh usually doesn't give you bags. But they gave us a bag, yeah. first time ever. Usually you have to carry out everything you bought. But And they say if you come on Tuesday with this bag, you get 20% off. Everything can fit in the bag. Uh -huh. And usually I don't think you would get, we got a lot of stuff and it all fit in the bag. So just 20% off on Tuesdays, which is good to know. And it was originally, how much was it originally? 170 Originally. And 20% off, so we pay 137 Yeah, so 130 for all this stuff. And literally everything that I got was like name brand. Excited about that. So we're going to give a little bit of haul. So first, literally when we went to Panama City, we were at Billabong. Not Billabong, Ron John. And I was literally looking on buying these shorts. And they're like 30 bucks if you buy them like new. But there are these rip curl shorts for the beach and they were 10 bucks plus the 20% off. And then literally, oh my gosh, I used to have this color in leggings. I found that one. Yeah, she did. I used to have this color in leggings, but they were the Wonder Under material, not the Align material. These Lululemon biker shorts, they're a little bit big on me because they're size 7, 8, but still. You think I was going to let that stay there? No, it's coming home with me. They all shrink to fit me. But though this is sage green color, and I got them for 20 bucks, which originally they're probably like 60, 70 dollars. So that was a steal. And then here we have these Levi shorts, which Levi shorts usually run for like 
another 60 70 ish 50 60 dollars what yeah and i all i literally i'm just been looking for levi shorts levi jeans everywhere and these ones aren't what i would usually like prefer to buy but they looked cute on and every single pair of shorts that i tried on today was too big like literally every single one is just ginormous on me and i just don't understand why because you, <laughs> you took the wrong size I, n I never look at the size, but it's just this. It just has white and blue. It's pretty cute. And I got it for $12 for Levi's, which is very good. And then this Zara pair of shorts With the literally has tags on it. It was originally $39, and I got it for 12. $12. Plus the 20%. That means like $10. These ones are a little big on me also, but I'd rather be a little bit big. And then this isn't a name brand or anything. It still has a tag on it though. It Reva Mint. I don't know. It has a tag on it and it was originally $19.99 and we got it for $14. So it was only like a $4 difference. But plus the, it's like a halter, like skinny dress. Because I want to wear this with like a flannel over it. Oh, that's cute. For some time in fall. Um, maybe some boots or clothes. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what, like that was the idea behind getting this dress. Because I've been looking for a dress like this, and then I just got it for like that there. color is cute. And it's a very comfortable material. It's very stretchy also. And then this little dress is from Urban Outfitters, which originally this was probably like $40, $40, $50. Um, but I got it for $12. And it's just this little green dress. It's really cute just for like, it's like a casual. I can bring this to the beach and just throw it over my like swimsuit. It's not like a super serious dress it's just a casual dress and i really like it it's very comfy and then my mom she got this very vibrant thing for zumba yes she needs more pink stuff for zumba pink so, or any bright color yeah so she got this zip up which is actually really cute today we did orange yeah it's, a, it's actually like hurting my eyes <laughs> how bright it is and then we have another bright thing she that one is, is from Flaveretic. fabletics originally 60 dollars and yeah, she got it time. for 18 dollars and look at it so bright her perfect little top <laughs> just her style and then i got this little top from free people and i got it for 12 dollars because i'm going on a trip i haven't said where to but i have said that it's going to be a cold environment so i'm getting a little bit of like colder stuff so i'm thinking about this with like just like a big coat over top would be cute and it's from free people which means this was originally like 50 dollars or something for this little top 40 50 dollars probably I'll show the back the and back then the, is cute. yeah the back has a little cutout and it's really cute and it's just like this little like knitted little crop top very cute and then i found this for my mom she's not 100 100 convinced because she i like it. it she didn't try it on i found it for her when i was looking for stuff and it's just a lululemon i honestly would wear this if she doesn't because i think lululemon. it's really i would wear this for when i um you love that color yes it's my favorite color and it's lululemon i got she got it for 20 dollars Compared to like what she would usually pay for him, and I think it's really cute. Maybe with your leg in front of Lululemon and that top, I would look amazing. Exactly. I can use that because you so, said it was big on you. This is Femin Lux, and it was sixteen dollars. Um, I don't know what the original price is. It's just a dress. Was. Wait, I'm trying to figure it out. A gray dress. Oh, does this go over your neck? So it's like this. Yeah, but I have to cut it and tie it because it's big. It's loose. But it was brand new, so yeah. I said, okay, maybe now the holidays are coming. Cute. Maybe I have to go to a party. Cute. You know, you never know. So this is my last thing, and this is the last thing in the bag. It's just this orange dress. I think it's also just super cute. You color. love this color. Yes, I love this color. Maybe for like Thanksgiving. I might do something mm -hmm. different for Thanksgiving, but this is like an option I could do for like fall. So, so that is everything we got. With Uriel, yeah. Fall. Something like that. I think that would be cute. So that is everything. I think it was a great deal. Honestly, um, I usually... thirty seven for all of that. They're that's literally, only one piece in Lululemon. Literally, like this Lululemon piece, this Lululemon piece, and these shorts would have been one hundred and thirty dollars. But with everything, I don't know if you have a Plato's store near you, but if you do. It's a hit or no. miss. It's a hit or miss. No, you have to take your time. It's a lot it's like of work. A goodwill. It makes my head hurt, like being in there. No, you know what happened to me? My nose start itching because it's so dusty, and yeah. everything is like used. But you know, you can handle that. You just scratch your nose and keep chopping. Also, wash all of that when you get home. Okay. Yeah. 
it depends on the day honestly and what you're looking for because sometimes I go in there and I can't find anything at all but then other days I go in there like today and I found like some really good stuff but it really just depends on mm -hmm. what you're looking for and what type of day it is but it's like the goodwill sometimes I go and I can buy hundred dollar full of clothes and sometimes I go and I found zero yeah and those types like thrift stores and stores that aren't like organized they make my head hurt because there's just so many things to look at and your eyes are like constantly moving back and forth but i think it was a successful plato's closet little also, sunday shop also i hate the dressing mirrors and the light at the goodwill and in this place you look so bad with everything that you try at least for me yeah oh my god i i tried the same outfit at my house and i said oh my god it looks so good but the store <gasps> so bad i'm so tired we get left already he's still waiting he's, he's not playing yet no he played and they won but oh then my god. they have to play again yeah oh poor guy no they just got canceled they're coming back oh good he's 5 18 so he has to drive for how long three hours yeah, he's gonna be here at like eight. Oh my god yeah he's supposed to be already here like he was supposed to get here at like four o'clock but then the, like rain always mess ups the game yeah like, i floated him like it's so annoying emily went to the beach she's playing what emily did today emily she is, was in shock emily's a fake sister alisa fake no she's fake listen she's to joking. this listen to this no she's fake she's like no i'm not gonna go on a vacation if it's the beach not this no that gets up this morning at eight in the morning and goes to the beach with her friends from 10 30 till three o'clock 3 30 3 30. the Tell whole me, day she would never ever ever do that with me he ever does. with anybody besides well this was like a rare occurrence i don't know if this is gonna happen again she was burnt she even <laughs> wore sunscreen <laughs> like i honestly i'm in shock about she got home with a little attitude like yeah she probably hated it no 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 because of that but she was like excited i don't know she was different i had a sleepover yesterday like everything we said in that assumption video, take it back. Uh -huh. She just changed overnight. <laughs> in the same day that we filmed. Literally, we said in that assumption video that she doesn't like going to sleepovers, and there she goes, has a sleepover that same night. In our house. Yeah, in our house. And then she said she hated the beach. She's everything. Guys, Rafael is making the ground beef. Every week we have to make, or he has to do this with white rice because Uriel and Allison eat that and Emily too. The other one was uh, vanilla something. Oh, that's the one that I like. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, Allison asked for waffle, protein waffle. Oh, one thank more. you. You brought me this. Yeah. I was thinking about it. And you... always, always... We have a lot of this. I know. I just oh my God. We have like five of this butter. Limon, mandarinas. What else? Oh, free sugar syrup, milk, cucumber, more cucumber, celery. We have here chicken, pepper. Oh, right. these with hummus. Yeah, blackberries, raspberry. I think those are wild. The thingy, onion, and more oh, pepper. So that was the haul. You saw your daughter, Emily? Yes, I did. What you say about the beach? She didn't say much. <laughs> she said that was fun. Yeah, mango time. Guys, look Emily's face. I'm gonna look. Tell you something. Look oh at that. Oh my gosh, you're, you're so tan. <laughs> you're so fake. What is that? <laughs> How? Fake. Because How? you say that you don't like the beach when it comes to your family, yeah, right. but you'll go with a friend you've known for two months. Fake. And? And you're so tan. I still don't like the beach. <laughs> okay, but you went for yeah. more hours than you've gone your whole lifetime with us. <laughs> still, I still hate the beach when it comes to us. So you have fun? Emily? She would never say that if we went. <laughs> <laughs> Look what we have here from last night. Panto Staro. Huh? No, but still, I didn't. I, just, I don't like the water. Our beaches. Guys, I'm hiding in the closet because I was watching Netflix with Raphael and Uriel text me saying I'm on my way. He's like three hours away, but he said that he's gonna be here at seven. 
Alison doesn't have idea and he said that he's coming with the poster to ask Alison for homecoming and I think this time Alison doesn't have idea because he's so far away he was playing all weekend since Friday so she doesn't have idea that he's coming to give her the surprise so I'm hiding in the closet to let you know I'm gonna try to film but let's see what happens peace out <laughs> Andale. <laughs> she was so mad on play. Oh, date. Baseball, oh. baseball I don't play. I like it. Kelly. I was taking a shower. Why are you next to you? Uriel, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. So cute. Did you do this? Mm -hmm. I mean, no, you didn't. I promise you, I made it last night. Seriously? Oh wow! Oh, Very nice. Hey, Emily, help me. I'm just gonna uh, send me the. Yeah, video. but I had to put the noise of the kitchen big okay. time. <laughs> you just covered her face. Yeah, you didn't expect that. I'm gonna take pictures. Oh, it's so cute. Where'd you get the little balls from? Amazon. Really? Mm -hmm. Uh, Did you ordered, know about this for a while? Well, yeah, I ordered everything before uh, before I went to West Palm, and then I brought everything to West Palm. And then, because I had an 8 a.m. game on Saturday, so I was like, what am I going to do for the rest of the day? So I ordered everything on Amazon and made it last night. What was I doing last night? Oh. Yeah. It didn't even look like you were doing anything. You were <laughs> laying in bed. Yeah. Yeah. It took me like an hour and a half. Ay, que felicidad yo tengo, Coco. Qué felicidad yo tengo, mamá. ¿Dónde está la niña? Dance with the stars. <laughs> Are you gonna say yes? Look there, lo bendito. <laughs> you wanna say yes or no? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Now a kiss, a kiss. No, in the boca. No. In the mouth. Alison, un kiss. No. Alison, a kiss. I'm gonna look away. Look, I'm gonna look away. Look. You did it? No. Kiss me on the cheek. No, okay. No. I won't look. You did it? No. Hello, guys. So, Uriel left. Um, I was not expecting that tonight. My night was supposed to go a lot differently. I was just going to clean my room and lay here all night. But I kind of did that, but he was over here, too. Um, we cleaned my room after he asked me to be his homecoming date. And we took pictures. I liked, like, one of the pictures. Two, maybe three three out of the a thousand that is pretty much it for today that was an exciting day actually like my day was just so like boring and then all of a sudden i got surprised and i was just like 
I was not expecting that at all. Like, I really was not expecting it. Because I was, we were, like, me and Maddie were literally talking about it. Yesterday and today, we were, like, I was, like, you need to help him. Like, I don't think he, like, knows what he's going to do. And, like, I was, like, Maddie, you need to text him. And, like, Maddie was texting him. And he was, like, I have it all, like, planned out. Like, I don't need your help. But I thought he meant, like, for future, not, like, today. And that's funny, though, because she texted him that when he, like, already had all the supplies and everything. But, like, I thought he meant, like, he has an idea. Like, he doesn't need her help. I'm finding something but turns out he like already had everything done which is just funny but I'm gonna get ready for bed because I put makeup on to take pictures so now I have to go take it off and then I'm gonna go to bed my room's clean for the most part and I'm gonna find stuff to put on that wall it is extremely plain right now and it's so weird but I have some things in mind to put there but for now it's plain good night guys hope you guys enjoy this video see you guys tomorrow